YouTube, more or less uh, zoomed in, closely not playing the guitar, just showing you. This is my CSL. Didn't take the strap off. Right, my CSL Telecaster. Um, just using natural light, the lights in to make it worse. There you go, quite a Telecaster type head. Got the maple fingerboard. Um, vintage style frets. And then onto the, the body and I can actually put it down yeah so we've got like a wide range pickup here you can see that there's extra screw holes been drilled because this when I got it had a Seymour Duncan in the neck this is the original bridge when I got it it had another bridge with it um, which I've currently lost actually uh, with a fender pickup in it as you can see normally on a fender pickup the holes a different size this is a much smaller than a fender pick up these are the original Maxons um, I'm not all oh, the bridge is actually notched so the original last tree bridge when I got it I had chrome knobs and it was like oh I'll be able to get the, the original ones and he's like oh I took them off so there we are the original ones from this guitar but not been on this guitar since 1986 therefore still in very very good condition and still clearly say volume and tone on them so I was really pleased about that um, also the pickup selectors up here this being a Telecaster Deluxe uh, better type of output jack not the normal Telecaster one I don't know whether the real tellies have that on the back oh we've actually got a a belly contour I wonder if that's a, a Telecaster Deluxe custom oh shit no it's a custom the Deluxe is the one with two of those wide range pickups and a Strat headstock so this is a custom um, got a belly contour through strung there's what I was talking about in the corker We're having the red white and blue which annoyed me because you can see that from the front of the corker and then the, someone was talking about the made in Japan neck plate that's got that down at the bottom bit instead of being at the top don't know if that's got any difference to it but you can see there the neck is a three piece laminate well three three the neck's three piece on the back and it's got a separate fingerboard very good and it can this is this guitar is all original um there's the original tuners which are, they look like, oh, those are the shitty ones you get on the cheap Epiphones. Yes, they, they look like them, but they're made of metal, so they're good. Um, the old guitar is fantastic little thing. Um, I am not a fan of this shape, the shape of the, the pick guards, but on this guitar, because it's black, just that wee white outline, I think it's just classy looking, and I love the sound of it. I kind of based the the cracking on this because that's a really really meaty doesn't sound like a normal pickup beefy bucker um and that's a really really thin and weird sounding beyond telecaster telecaster pickup but you can mix the two of them together and it's amazing so that's kind of what i did with the um the cracking but so sound why i didn't do any fancy wiring to it it doesn't need it You've got a volume control. You basically got two treble and two bassy, or you can have them both on at the same time. It's just like, it's just perfect. Lo lovely big guitar. If you see anyone's at these, um, you can tell just. But as soon as, as soon as you hold the neck on these guitars, any of them, it's just like, all right, yeah, it's. That's the thing that makes all these things feel the same. That's why this feels like a, even a, like a modern FGN or something. There's something about it that just makes it obviously Japanese and I love it but a very a very original one this one dates to 1974 so it's actually got the codes of back on it um yeah so a rocking little Telecaster um so for in 74 it had the white um truss rod cover later on they'd bullet ones sometimes they'd metal ones etc etc right I'm quick John Juice I'm gonna do a couple more the guitars that are lying about catch you later